Stay with us when Bob interviews our own Littleton Common editor, Nancy Hilsinger. This is the person who puts the finishing touches on our show to make us look good. Not only our show, but all that pass through this studio. Nancy also does all of the finishing touches on the broadcaster, which goes out to all of our seniors. So let's have you talk to Nancy and see what she really does. Going right over right now. Good. And here we are. We're in Nancy's office. Welcome to Thank my world. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be great. And I know that this will be edited very well, this piece here. It will. And anything <laughs> I don't like is edited out. <laughs> but you didn't start here. You came from a, a financial uh, background. I did. So tell us about that. Well, when I look back on how I got started in this, I think of it as sort of serendipity. Um, it was sort of as if the planets were all lined up to, to be in the right place. Um, it was August of 2013, and I had been doing the senior broadcaster. I'd been editing that for about a year. No, this is the monthly, the monthly senior newsletter. Newsletter, yeah. yeah. And I was looking for something else, not to replace it, but to uh, you know add to it. And um, I ran into Barbara McRae, and she brought me in here. And I thought... I don't know what I'm going to do, but whatever I do, I have to do it in here because I just got hooked right off the bat. So um, just luckily, Mark Crory was having a video production workshop like the following week. So I signed up and um, took the class. And I thought, well, this will be fun. I can use the whatever I learned to do my home videos and movies, and that'll, that'll be fine. So after the... Uh, workshop, he was talking to me and he said, well, now he said, I think what we'll do is we'll have you edit Barbara's Littleton Common Show. And I thought, every month? <laughs> <laughs> and I was, because at first, first I, thought to, I thought to myself, well, yeah, once I could do that. And I thought, no, he means every month. I thought he was nuts. And, um, but I thought, okay, why not give it a shot? What have you got to lose? So, um, I now that you've been doing it every month, do you know how fast the months can come Oh, yeah, they go by. They yeah. go by very fast. And it's nice because it's sort of, she uses the broadcaster for a lot of her content. So um, it works out very well. Um, so I worked with Mark for a few months and sat with him, watched him while he edited Littleton Common. And gradually I took on more and more of the editing myself. It was, um, you know, every month, it's, well, I'll do a little bit of this, I'll do a little bit of that. But I always had him check it when I was finished. I said, now, can you go through the whole thing and check it for me? And he did, and I was like, Phew, did that. And then at one point, I don't even know when it was, I said, do you want to check it? And he said, no, I'm sure it's fine. And I went, oh, my God. It was, though. It <laughs> it's was. fine. Yeah, so that was exciting. Um, and now here, almost, I've been almost four years. Yeah, here I now, am, yeah. Yeah, and that's, so you, your, your intention was to start out part-time. Part-time. You know, and uh, do, do, do some work here. And this thing has mushroomed, ballooned, into how many hours do you average now a week and or a month? A month. Well, I figure I work anywhere between 40 and 60 hours a month. It kind of depends on what I have in the queue, you know, what's going on. Yeah. How many. At one point, I know, I don't think it was in the summer. Things heat up in the summer. I don't know why. Oh, little pun. Um, uh at one point, I think I had seven shows kind of in the queue, and I thought, I'm never going to get these done, but I did. It, there's, it's flexible. I mean, the only thing, this is the only show I do that has a deadline. So um, at this point in time now, now, we started again in 2012? 13. 13. 13. How many shows, roughly how many shows have you edited to this point? Um, I've done, so far I've done 160 shows. I'm working on four right now. Um, I, um, after I learned how to edit Littleton Common, then I did several things with the 300th anniversary celebration. First, I did a little introduction for those little 500 
uh, 500, 300 seconds, a Littleton five yep, minutes. Yep, I did a few of those. <clears throat> and then I did a few little events, um, about the 300. I think the next thing I did was that night before Christmas special we did. That was a lot of fun. We had fun with that. Um, so right now, I've got seven programs, a series that I work on at one point or two. Now, are you including this? We'll call them spin-offs. Yeah, there's two. Two of those are spin-offs, but I do um, seven all together. And I've put together a little um, video uh, with some clips from each one. It's very short, but we'll show that right now. We watch now. it. We'll watch yeah, it right now. Watch it, okay. right now. Yeah. Here we go. The elements of the periodic table. There's hydrogen and helium, then lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon everywhere, nitrogen all through the air, and oxygen so you can breathe, and fluorine for your pretty teeth, neon to light up the sign, sodium for salty times, magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, then sulfur, chlorine, then argon, potassium, and calcium so you'll grow strong, scandium, titanium, vanadium, and chromium, and manganese. Now I pulled out the um, two things. I pulled out Bill Vale's Tech Talk segments and some of Barbara's guest interviews from Littleton Common, and I created separate series for those because I thought, you know, they're short, they're <coughs> focused. If somebody just wants to pick up on a topic, they could tune in and it, you know, be great. So that's worked out great. Those are Tech Talk topics and uncommon interviews. And I have to say all, all of these programs are on demand on the LCTV website. So tune in. Yeah. Now let's step back for a second. Let's talk about uh, the art of editing. Now, we're, how do I say this now? We're oh, both, at, both at the, both at the age, age. age. I'm, I'm at the age. You're at the age. Who remembers the old celluloid. Yeah, uh, I'm a lot younger, so I hardly remember that. But that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, true. It is not. Uh, but I remember the old celluloid yeah, yeah, film and yeah. the old uh, cutting and apart and splicing of film, you know, to edit it. And now, you know, a lot of, through the years, a lot of different s steps have, have happened that leads us now to today's digital computer-based format here and that's what, what I, I do remember those days you do remember and them we, did, okay. we, we and we have come a long way we have you had home movies though you had to have. I had old eight millimeter movies yeah. and then I, I turned them into videos and then, then they're DVDs and now they're on my computer it's hysterical so I've been the whole route yeah. did you have that on your resume when Mark interviews you did you mention that? interview no no, no interview no. <laughs> show up <laughs> Um, but I, there are, I, right now I use an Apple iMac and um, I use Final Cut Pro software to uh, do the actual editing. That's also an Apple product. Okay. And Final Cut is very powerful and very versatile. It's got a lot of features you can do a lot with. I feel like I've only scratched the surface. I don't even feel like I, you know, I've got a long way to go to really master it. But there are two parts to learning Final Cut. One is sort of the technical, what are the features, how do they work together, whatever. And I was very lucky to be able to um, have the benefit of Mark's expertise while I was learning Final, uh, learning Final Cut and learning how to edit Littleton Common. Uh, but I also took several online tutorials over and over and over again, just to sink into the brain. Um, and then I bought an Apple book on the subject, which had, uh, it was nice, it had a DVD with it that I could do those lessons with the book on my computer. And then, of course, I took, as anyone who knows me would know, I took many, many, many notes. <laughs> many notes. 
but the really fun part of the editing uh, process is the creative part. I absolutely love it. I like the uh, some of the special effects that I that I uh, can create. Uh, three that I um, have little examples of. One was for an episode of Littleton Rocks, Bill Vale show. I took a there was he had a model of a T Rex dinosaur tooth on the table, and I took that and I moved it up into the mouth of a T Rex skeleton to show where it would fit if it was real. That was one. And then for the recent Littleton Middle School Science Fair, I used some of the retiming effects. And I had one where I speeded it up, spe sped it up, speeded it up, whatever, made it go faster. Yeah. And another one, I made it slow down. So those are cute. So I have those little clips right now, too. So we'll show those. Yeah. She really is this thorough. She got all A's in high school. Well, Wait, not all. in high school. Not all. Well, many. Ninety-five percent. Well, I don't know. <laughs> it's a long time ago. <laughs> well, anyway, now the final product. It's like it's kind of like a puzzle that you're fitting into a given time frame, and um, you're cutting out all the the bad stuff. Sometimes we have more than one take, as you know. And you've got to you think? cut that. <laughs> we're not doing it right we're now, We're not doing though. it right now. No, we're doing this. <laughs> we're going to go right, right through this, it. baby. That's right. <laughs> so um, let's talk about that. And then uh, we'll talk about some of the other things, like bloopers that you sometimes can pull from the bad things. Yeah. Well, it, that's a very good analogy because it really is like a big puzzle. I think of it as the, um, <clears throat> the raw footage, kind of like the borders of a puzzle. And then you fit in the other pieces, um, other interviews, um, what they call B-roll, anything that illustrates what you're doing. Sure. Um, you add titles, you can put different backgrounds in it, you can put special effects, music. I also, I'll add in other videos or photos to illustrate whatever it is uh, the subject is that we're, that we're talking about. And um, then, the, then the finished product comes together. And I always re, uh, review it, always, I try, to review it with the producers to make sure I've captured what they want, you know, what their intent is, what they want to say. Now, I have to say, uh, you, you were talking about fitting, fitting things in to a, to a time. I never used to care much about whether the, the program fit. You know, we, had a, we have an hour time slot for the show, and it was an hour and five minutes. And I would say, I don't care. It's an hour and five minutes. Fit it in. <laughs> handle it. You know, it's not my problem. Well, now I'm doing scheduling. So now it's my problem. Now I'm, con I'm sorry, you can't do that. We only have a half an hour. We have to cut part of this out. How are we gonna, it's a riot how your perspective changes, yeah. And then these bloopers that I mentioned, they can be used either within the content of a show or they could just be a featurette. Yeah, I think I did mm -hmm. one set of bloopers. I, I don't think enough when I'm doing it to pull them out, but I should. Uh, we did one blooper show, which was kind of cute. I pulled, Bill, Bill Vales had a couple of really We did several ones. of them when you did, um, Barbara was doing a show with, Bill early on. Yeah. One of the earlier ones. Oh, yeah. 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 But they're fun. They they're are. Really fun. They are. Yeah. The fun part is kind of putting them together and seeing. You like ridiculing us. I do. That, it's, yeah. It kind of makes it all so, worthwhile. Yeah. 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 <laughs> do you have any final thoughts? Um, I just want to say that I want to encourage anybody else who thinks they would like to do this to sign up for one of the video production workshops. Um, it's fun. Uh, it's very rewarding. You, um, you need to be willing to put the time in to learn it and to do it, but it's, it's very, very much fun. So either contact Mark Crory or go on the LCTV website to see when the next uh, video production workshop is. Yeah, don't get too used to this. You're, you're quite good, but we need you on the other side of the camera as well. Oh, I'm Editing. never going to give that. I'm both? never going to give that up. <laughs> <laughs> I always tell. I always tell them when they say, "Now, if we had somebody else come in here and don't pay any attention to this, if we had anybody else come in here and do something, what show would you give up?" I say, "I'm not giving up anything. <laughs> These are mine, my babies. So no." Yeah. <laughs> Well, we're going to get back to Barbara now. Okay. Because you have to get have ready to, get to edit to edit. this show. I do. Yeah. I do. Okay. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Yeah. Hey.